rolls, the spins off the backboards. Gary Payton playing at the top of his game right now. And then the perfect compliment is the howitzer from outside. Detlef Schrepp, who's only buried, what is it, uh, 12 of 14 from three-point range in the seven-game winning streak. Detlef has been tremendous. And over the last 12 games, he's 18 out of 22 from three-point range. To go along with that, just making a mockery out of the three-point line. This is a guy who won a three-point shooting contest or was in the three-point shooting contest a number of years ago. There were a lot of question marks about who was going to provide outside shooting for the Seattle Supersonics. Isaiah Ryder. As, uh, De uh, well, Rooks hit the first but missed the second case and the Wilkes came creeping into the lane. And yeah, that was later. They did try to beat Cartwright in the lane and cost, cost Rooks a, a free throw. It just looks like he does not want to be here. He wants to be at home playing uh, NBA Jam <laughs> on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> Shrimp into the lane. Oh, a side-winding corkscrew and left-handed leaper with a left hand. What a beauty. Detlef with four points. Energy from uh, Aiden Dendiff, Kendall Sean, Gary, all the guys in the game. Right there. Dendiff has only scored a bucket. Gill has only scored a bucket here in the second period. Sonic steal it from right. McMillan to Dendiff over to Gill. Climbs into the air. Double pump. Lays a little backhand runner up and in. Smith had a handle on it. Baseline McMillan there to erase the shot. Comes down to the hands of the Rayman. Up to Payton. Center to Dendiff. Right hand side. Hook pass back to Gary. Give and go cut. Counted for Payton. He has 11. Yeah, nice. Yeah, leading scorer on the team, Greg Ballard. <laughs> Steve Stedman, the Oregon Duck, <laughs> flashes the picture of another Oregon Duck. Greg Ballard used to give me fits when I was at UCLA, even though I was college player of the year and he was, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> A Pac-10 also ran. Pac-8. Here's you go. <laughs> Kemp. Over to Detlef Shrimp. Backing down, whirling, up fakes, flicks. Got it. Tough shot between... Garland and West, and Detlef made it look easy. But West is 6'6", trying to guard 6'10", Detlef Shrimp. That's a mismatch, you got to milk. Sonic's done. Gill skips outside with the dribble, stops. Bounces over to Gary, back outside to Gill, over to Detlef. Open J, measures it, flicks it, got it. 18-footer for Detlef, nothing but net. Yeah, first two opportunities. Leitner left to the key, looking low. Swings it over to West, sways right, goes left, pull up, jump shot. No, rebound, Ryder, deflected away, grabbed by Kendall Gill. Across midcourt, he comes with Detlef, shovels it over to Detlef to the glass, lays it up and in. Rooks in a very, very bad move. <laughs> Got a piece of him from behind. The foul on Rooks sends Detlef to the line. The epitome, epitome of lunacy for Sean Rooks. <laughs> what is he doing? I mean, he just he kind of, you know, you don't file him hard enough to keep him shooting the ball, just hard enough to get a three-point play potentially called against you. You got to either hit him hard or back off. No in-between. And there are a lot of loons in Minnesota. I think it's a state bird. Shrimp hits the free throw. He's got 11. Shrimp with seven. Picks up the dribble. Skips it to Rooks. Backs to the baseline. Turn. Try to bank her. Missed it. Don't the rebound. Dollar Bill outside to get across mid court. He comes. Swings across court. Gary down the left side. Bounces. Hands to Detlef beneath the rack and lays up a twisting left hander. What a play. Good play by Gary, but also Detlef should have kept moving toward the basketball. He knew Gary was going to get stuck in the head to Gill. Center it to Gary. Flick it outside to Detlef and hand it off to Gary to let him get things rolling. Detlef wants to post up against Ryder. He's got it in deep. Back step spin to the baseline. Double bumps up in the left hand. Drew the foul and he knew. Shielded the ball with his body and Drew Foster on his back. And a timeout is called by the Wolves. The score, Seattle 64, Minnesota 62. We'll be back on the Sonic Broadcasting Network. Greater advantage with J.R. Ryder at 6'5", trying to guard him at 6'10". And to score points in this league, you got to get to the free throw line. He does a nice spin to the baseline, draws the contact from Foster, and voila, two free throws. Daniel Shrimp stepping to the line. Eastern Conference All-Star with the Pacers at 93. Flicks it up and in. 14 points for Devlin. We were talking to him on the way over. Of course, he spent three and a half years with the Dallas Mavericks and really did not start in any of those seasons with the Mavs. Broke his leg in his fourth campaign. Was traded to the uh, Indiana Pacers where he finished and played some 30 games in his fourth year in the league. And the rest is history. Hits a second free throw. 15 for Devlin. ready to go off at any oh, minute. Oh, goodness. So that's going to be the key for him. 66-64. Kemp back to the lob. Shrimp draws. Foster off his feet. Got the bump. Hooked it home off the window. Detlef Shrimp operating right now like a big old Mercedes-Benz, baby. Picture He's got perfect. 17 points. Pitch a perfect example of the spin, lock, and lob play. Detlef on the post against Doug West. Just loses him. Nice little up fake. Gets Greg Foster to fly. And uh, now he gets a chance for the three-point play. 
Bedlam looks at home. 18 for Shrimp, 14 in the fourth. 14 points here in the third quarter. That's the energy infusion I was talking about. Either him or Kendall Gill. Maybe Kendall's going to get it going in the fourth quarter, but Detlef has carried this team on his broad shoulders. Makes took advantage of it. 28 seconds left in the third. Smith yo-yos that dribble between the pins. Heads into the lane. Running right-hander. A pray for a foul. Rebound Perkins. Out ahead to Gill. Down the left side. He scampers away. Works Marshall deep. Shovels to Benny. Trailing up. He steps. No. Detlef the follow. No. Detlef the rebound. Up fakes to the glass. Lays it in. Through the foul. And Detlef Shrimp will go to the line. 20 points for Det, 16 and a quarter. <laughs> Detlef, he's just having a hard time. <laughs> he's a pretty frustrated boy out there. Kendall Gill with a nice drive and kick back to Askew. He's going to miss it. There's Det for the uncontested tip and blows it uncharacteristically. But here's the tough shot. Puts it in, draws the foul, <laughs> gets a chance to, to get a free throw. And he's really battling out there. I just love watching him play. He plays so hard and he's so expressive and animated with his, uh, with his facial expressions. Detlef to the line, the free throw up, record pass to Garland. Bad pass, had to get it, sends it over the right, rope from jumper, won't go, Shrimp comes after the rebound, Foster deflects it, after Detlef, after Detlef had it, out of bounds, Seattle ball. Detlef will bring it into bottom, Marshall on it, sprints by West, goes to the hole and jams it down with the left hand. Get out of here. 98-87, pushes up a running right-hander, the ball deflected outside, grabbed by Detlef Shrimp. Dedlin plays it for Benny at the center of the floor. Double pumps out to Dead. Takes off a couple of players. Steps. Hooks. McMillan back Ooh. to Dedlin. Into the lane. Great give and go passing. McMillan to Dedlin. Up and in. He has 22 points. I want you fans here in Minnesota to remember that that is basketball. That's how it should be played. 13 Wolves points. to make it 18 and 3 lifetime against the Timberwolves. You didn't know that, Dedlin, did you? Let's go to Marcus Johnson with Dedlin Shrimp. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Kevin. I'm with Dedlin Shrimp. Dedlin is just playing. Uh, just great consistent basketball over the last couple of months and first of all this is the eighth win in a row fifth on the road you guys are playing pretty good right now well i think we're we're back on on the roll you know last year we had a, a couple of springs where we won 10 in a row so uh we're trying to get another one here and uh, i think we're finally back to where we were last year now tonight's game the first half you had four points at halftime came back with the big third quarter what do you say to yourself at halftime i remember, remember what i said to myself i used to beat myself up what do you do at halftime to get yourself prepared to play the second half well, um, I wasn't concerned about myself. I thought we didn't play well in the first half, especially on defense. And uh, I know some, some nights I get a lot of shots, some nights uh, I won't get as many. So I wasn't concerned about that. And, and like, you, like you said, right away, third quarter, I got three, four shots in a row. And, and uh, I thought our defense picked up in the, th in the third quarter especially, but, but uh, the first half wasn't very good for us. Yeah, the key for this team is defense. I think we're going to have a chance to look at some of the defensive play. Just talk about a little bit of it. Well, it's on offense, I think. <laughs> we're just... Uh, we were crashing the boards because we, we missed a lot of easy shots, but we finally got on the board and, and got some tip-ins and, and got some second shots, and that helped us out. Yeah, well, you know, offense, defense, whatever. You guys are playing hard. Talk about this play. <laughs> That's offense again. Uh, we just they, uh, they had given up the last two minutes, and they just came out and double-teamed, and we passed the ball around well and got some easy layups. Now, your three-point shooting. I talked to you earlier in the season. I know you were in the three-point shooting contest when you were back in Indiana. There were a lot of question marks about who was going to take up the slack this year. Seems like that's pretty much uh, been answered by the shooting you put on. Well, I don't take a whole lot of them. Uh, you know, so I, I'm still kind of hesitant to take them, but uh, my percentage is pretty good, and I feel good shooting them. And, and I'm sure um, the opportunities are going to come where I can shoot maybe three, four a game once in a while. Now, coming this weekend, going back home to Dallas, you got Jamal Mashburn. Just uh, what about that matchup? Well, it's not home. You know, Seattle is my <laughs> home, but uh, it's always fun going back there. I still have a lot of friends there, and uh, it's, it's a lot of work. You know, we played him early in the season, and it's it's a lot of work. You got to work on defense because uh, Dick Modest' offense is every place for the two or the three guys. So you, you got your work cut out for you. All right, thanks, that Lip, for a tremendous game again tonight. Good luck Saturday night, and not his home, Dallas, but Seattle fans. Seattle is his home. Kevin, back to you. 